So if we look at slide 14, if you look here on screen, we have slide 14. This, this uh, needle is reading approximately 30 pounds of pressure. We see that the outside, that's of course the pressure, reading about 30. If we look at the black and the white numbers, that's for R12. We see that the temperature for R12 is approximately 33 degrees. If we look at the scale, at the green scale, we see that that is going to be approximately 8 degrees. So at 30 PSIG, if we are dealing with R12, our evaporator is going to be at about 33 degrees, 33, 34 degrees. If we are dealing with R22 and our low side pressure happens to be 30, then our temperature is going to be about, about 8, 9 degrees. If we look at 502, at 30 degrees, we see that our temperature is going to be 0 degrees. That's the temperature of the evaporator. In other words, that is the temperature that the refrigerant is boiling at. Now, if we look here on slide 14, we see that we have this red arrow. On this red arrow, we see that it's pointing at approximately 57 PSIG. When we do, when we look at R22, we see that that reads approximately 32 degrees. So now, like we said before, if our suction pressure happens to be 57, coil is going to be at 32 degrees, so that means it's freezing. It's practically freezing. The other arrow is pointing to approximately 68, 68 PSIG. If you look at the green scale, we see that now it is reading 40. The green scale being the middle of the three. We see that it's reading approximately 40, and that is what we want to see ideally so that we have a 40 degree evaporator.